Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Addicted Fishing. Today we're doing something special, we're doing a challenge. And we're out here on the leg, on the trout leg, we're catching them really good, so we wanted to do a competition in between my two favorite lures. I'm gonna put them up head to head. They're two different styles of spinners, but they're both my favorite. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the old rooster tail, my two favorite colors, up against the old Panther Martin in two different colors. So the way this challenge is gonna work, it's a, it's a spinner versus spinner face off till the death. What we're gonna do is we're gonna give each one 10 minutes and I can only choose between the two different colors of each style of spinner. So as I'm fishing, I'll only be able to switch back and forth from the yellow and silver and the black and gold on the Panther Martin and I'll only go back and forth in the chartreuse and green and gold and the pink and silver in the uh, rooster tail. So I'm gonna put each of them up to the test. We're gonna start the timer for 10 minutes a piece and whichever one catches the most fish is gonna behold the victor on this challenge. So stay tuned, you guys. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be some big fish coming up. All right, everybody. It is 3.40 on the dot. So at 3.50, I'm gonna stop casting. I'm gonna wait for it to go over. It's at 3.39 right now. We'll wait for it to hit 340 and we'll start fishing. And go time. So we're starting with the Panther Martin, the Old Faithful. This is my favorite spinner. Gold blade, black body. This wind is definitely gonna be a little bit of a trial today. I think that's where the, uh, the Panther Martin might dominate is in this wind. It's gonna be able to cast a lot easier, that's for darn sure. So the difference in between the Panther Martin and the blue and the, uh, the rooster tail, excuse me, is mostly weight. You can get some pretty heavy rooster tails, but also the blade style of them. The blade style is more of a thinner French blade on the, uh, the blade style on a rooster tail is more of a thinner feather blade, whereas on the Panther Martin here, it's a Vibrax blade. So this blade makes a lot of noise, gets a lot more vibration in the water, and it, honestly, it'll irritate the fish a little bit more, if so facto, considering that being the case. I'm gonna start moving down here a little bit. They're not getting them there. The clock's ticking. Thinking out about five minutes exactly, I'll switch colors to see if it's my color that's not working. Oh, there was one. Dang it. Had one grab it, a little bumpski. Starting to panic here. I thought the golden black was gonna win. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving. Something's gotta give here. Oh, oh, there he was. Dang it, that was a really big one too. Ooh, hit it right at the bank. Okay, here we go. We're on them now. I can feel it, this is the cast. This is gonna be the one. If not, if I don't get one on the next two casts, I'm switching. I'm going to my old faithful yellow and silver. Nothing. Yeah, moving down a little more. You can see how I'm kind of trying to fish this. I'm fishing up into the wind on this bit, fishing this one end of the lake, trying to work my way across all the structure and the depth. And then as I fish, as I switch the lure, I'm actually gonna head, head back down the bank, back downwind, bombing some casts out to the center of the lake. And hopefully, just hopefully, there's something that'll like it. Oh, there he was. Dang it. Having a hard time keeping these things on. Okay, 
color change. It's changing time. Okay, here we go. Oh, I can already tell that's the color. There he is. Oh, dang it. That was a good cast. That was a long one. I'm gonna let that one sink, see what our time limit is here. 46, we got four more minutes on the on the Panther Martins. What can happen? Magic could happen. Okay, I'm gonna make one more cast at this end. I'm gonna start working my way back towards the deep end of the lake. Here we go. I can feel it. Oh, there he was. Should have set the hook. Oh, there he was again. They're following it. Man, I must say, I expected a little more domination out of the old Panther Martin here, but there's still a few minutes left. We know, we never really know what can happen. This might turn into a weight game. There he is. Wasn't even watching. Oh, it's a bass, it was a bass. Doesn't count, doesn't count, it was a bass. There he is, hole oh, right at the bank too. Holy crap, what a monster. At the, at the bell, saved by the bell. What time is it? Oh, one minute before time limit, 3.50. Oh, wow. Woo! Look at this thing. Man, this is putting this two to six to work. Oh! Oh, man. God, I was wondering what was going to happen there. I knew as we worked down this bank, we would eventually find one, but I didn't think it would be this big. There it is. Oh, what a giant. What an absolute giant. Bottom of the ninth at the bell, walk off Homer by the old silver and yellow Panther Martin. Look at that trout, you guys. Holy smokes. What a beastly creature. Let me get a hold of him here. Oh, there he goes. Got him. There it is, everybody. The Panther Martin fish. Whew, thanks for saving us, bud. See you later. Oh, Little wanted him. Whew. What a mess, but did the trick. Yellow and silver Panda Martin, one fish in 10 minutes. Let's go over, grab the uh, rooster tails and give them their chance. I have a feeling rooster tail might, might win here today. Okay, on to the rooster tail. I'm gonna go with a little bit heavier one just because of the wind. I'm gonna fish the heavier one as I go up into the wind here along this edge of the lake. And then I'm gonna fish the lighter chartreuse one which seemed to work better on the way back down the lake side here. So I'm gonna go with the heavy one first, pink and silver. Let's see what happens. Okay everybody, 354. Coming up on 355, as soon as it hits 355, we're gonna fish till 405 with the rooster tail. Now, I don't know, I hate to favor the rooster tail right now because Panther Martin's my favorite, but I have a sneaking suspicion that the, uh, the rooster tail is gonna be the underdog win here today. And fishing time. So I'm doing the same retrieval really for both of these. 
making sure to give it a little whip right when I start, get that blade spinning, and just a nice steady rip as it goes across that, uh, that depth in the lake. There's a lot of weeds in the bottom of this lake, so I can't let it get too deep. So I'm letting it get subsurface about two feet or so, making sure it has a nice steady thump to it the whole time and uh, keeping it off the bottom of the lake so that those fish can keep seeing it and I don't get snagged constantly on those weeds themselves. Okay. Oh, there he is. Oh man, I missed him. Oh wow, he crushed it. He's gonna come back for it. He's gonna come back for it. Holy smokes, that was a big hit. Wow, that was a big fish. Get over there again. Oh, instant hit. I think that was a some sort of pan fish or something, maybe another bass. Oh, again. The little guys are messing with me. I want the big guys. I want the big shiny ones. I know they're in here. Okay, one more cast out there and I'm gonna start moving. Yep, small fish, small fish. Maybe. Oh, came off, whatever it was. Huh, came back with some weeds, but it definitely thought it was shaking. Might have been a bass. Already fish on, already fish on. I think this is another small fish of some sort. Yep, a little large mouth. A little large mouth. Man, you never know what you're gonna find in these ponds out here. There he is, little largey. We'll count that as a quarter of a fish at this point. Let's keep moving. We're in bass country here. Okay. That bass hit that thing on the fall too. That thing no, no sooner hit the water and it was already pulling back. I'm gonna keep moving here. Oh, there he is! Oh my God, it was huge! Oh my God, that was a big fish. I think I can get him to come back for it though. He didn't really get stung too bad. Holy snikes. That wind is just messing me up here today. Oh wow, that was a good one. That was a good one. You got the chance to tie it up here, bruise your tail. Do it for your country. The country of Yakima. That's the cast right there. That one's gonna get him. Oh man, I messed that up. That was, that was a big time mess up. Okay. You know, I think, What's gonna happen here is I'm gonna catch one fish right at the buzzer again. Then we're gonna have to go to a sudden death overtime. Oh, another bass. Darn it. We're gonna have to go to a sudden death overtime here to, to claim the victor of the uh, Rooster Tail Panther Martin Challenge of 2020. Another little largey. Gonna send him back. Let's stay on the train here. I'm getting some good bites in this spot. I'm actually gonna walk this one. Oh, the bag! Oh my God! Oh my God, that was so awesome! Oh my God! That thing chased it all the way in. Holy snikes. That was insane, oh, and he spit it. 
Oh my God. That fish hit it. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera, but that fish followed it all the way in, hit it like two feet from the bank, and then just went berserk and threw the hook. So as it stands now, this is hook two. Hasn't landed him. Obviously the hooks on the rooster tails might need to change. Um, but I'm gonna keep fishing. We got like two more minutes. I'm gonna see if I can make this a come behind win by the rooster tail. That was absolutely epic. After that whole drift, man, I railed all the way across the lake. I was bringing that thing in, and then you decided to hit it about a rod's length away from my tip. Let's see here. Getting down to the final minutes. I'm gonna make one more cast right here, then I'm gonna go on the other side of this little creek and do the last two raw, because we ran the clock out on this color. We didn't even get to fish our yellow one. All right, let's get a couple more casts over here. Let's see if we can get a sudden death overtime here. If the rooster tail can come through with the buzzer beater fish, we'll give him a little another another little five minute challenge in between the two victors. Let's see here, but if not, the Panther Martin is gonna reign champion today. I think I got about one more cast on the clock. Let's look here. Yep, one more minute. 404, here we go. Final. All right, let's see. Is it gonna happen? What do you guys think? Comment below. If you're, if you're wanting the rooster tail to win, comment below. We'll give it some positive vibes. Give the spinner some mojo. Can it come through for us one last time? Oh, come on. That's a big no ski, everybody. Well, there you have it. The Panther Martin is the victor, but really it was only by default. So the, the rooster tail ended up catching more fish, the pink rooster tail, but, and hooking more fish, but the landing ratio on the Panther Martin was better. So you guys be the judge. You comment below with which one you think is the winner, whether or not you think it's the Panther Martin or you think it's the rooster tail. What's your guys' favorite? And what's your favorite thing to catch trout on? Be sure to drop a comment below Give this video a little thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and hit that little bell notification because that's how you're going to find out when these videos come out all the time. Thank you so much for tuning in today, you guys. We hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. We're going to have to do some more of these challenges. Again, if you liked it, give us a thumbs up. You guys stay fishy. We'll see you out there. Have fun.